But there's one other major thing that made a huge difference, and that was leadership. You know, I'm the youngest kid in the crowd then. I'm one of the oldest now, almost. But I was the junior ranking and the youngest guy in the POW camp in most all the camps. So I was, you know, I was following the wake of some great leaders, some courageous leaders, some people of great character and strength who had been around. Some of them had been in World War II. A couple of guys had been POWs in World War II that were in there with me in Hanoi. Some had been in Korea. One of them, one of my good friends and leaders there, Robbie Reichner, had been an ace in the Korean War. So we had great leadership that led with honor. They understood honor, and our motto was return with honor. And leadership always makes the difference. It's what's good about Nicholson, Georgia, is you've had leadership and good leadership. Well, this is an election year, and we need leadership at every level in our elections. Well, next year will be an election year. It's already started because it's so all you see in the news now. But we're coming into an election year next year, 2012, and there'll be a lot of people elected at every level. We need to be aware of how important those elections are and that the people we choose are people who will lead with honor. Now, whatever that communicates in your mind as leading with honor, that's probably about right. Uh, but if you have, uh, have any doubts, there's 14 chapters in here on leading with honor that as I wrote this book, I was thinking about not only about my POW experience and not only about the leadership that I, training that I do in corporate America and the leadership in the military, but the leadership that we need in this country at every level as we go into this next election.